A consumer with the utility function u is equal to x squared y faces the following constraints. We have a constraint 1, x plus y is less than or equal to 50. A constraint 2, 2x two plus y is less than or equal to 60. What combination of x and y maximizes utility while satisfying these constraints? I'm going to set up my Lagrange. It's a function of x, y, lambda 1, and the lambda 2. It's going to be the utility that I want to optimize, x squared y plus lambda 1 times constraint 1's budget is 50 minus x minus y plus constraint 2. Its budget is 60 minus 2x minus y. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, do... Uh, I'm going to assume one of my constraints will be naturally satisfied. Which one do you guys want to assume is naturally satisfied? So Evan's using some good sense. He believes that budget it will naturally be satisfied and the coupon constraint will be more limiting as there's a heavier weight on X here and um, our utility has a higher weighting on X. So I'm going to go with Evan and say, OK, let's assume that constraint one will naturally be satisfied. And which one becomes binding? And constraint two is binding. So we're going to ignore constraint one. And I'm going to do my partial derivatives. Now, sometimes we, I do all the partial derivatives, and then I decide which one to ignore. So you'll see me do it um, both ways. Doing my partial derivative with respect to x, I get 2xy plus lambda 2 times the derivative of negative 2x is negative 2. Doing the derivative with respect to y, I get x squared plus lambda 2 times the derivative of negative y, which is negative 1. And doing the derivative with respect to lambda 2, I get 60 minus 2x minus y. Now I set these derivatives to be equal to 0, and I'm going to solve for my uh, lambdas. So 2 lambda 2 will be equal to 2xy. Therefore, lambda 2 will be equal to xy. For the derivative with respect to y, I'm going to get lambda 2 is equal to x squared. Putting my lambdas together, lambda 2 is equal to lambda 2, I get xy is equal to x squared. Dividing both sides by x, I get y is equal to x. Now I substitute this into the derivative with respect to lambda 2, and I get 60 minus 2x minus y will be x. So this gives me 60 minus 3x is equal to 0. Moving 3x over to the other side, I get 60 is equal to 3x. Dividing both sides by 3, I get x is equal to 20. Now, if x is equal to 20, y is equal to x, so y is also equal to 20. What do I do next? I have to check my assumption that constraint 1 is going to be satisfied. So I'm going to check that constraint 1 is satisfied. That was my assumption. So constraint 1 was that x plus y is less than or equal to 50. So substituting my x and y values here, I have 20 for x and 20 for y. This gives me 40, which indeed is less than 50. I'm happy. My solutions are that x is equal to 20 and y is equal to 20 to maximize my utility. And of course, afterwards, I would solve for the utility. My utility is equal to x squared y. That's going to give me 20 squared times 20. My maximum utility that meets these constraints is 8,000.